Hello and welcome back to my video walkthrough for Death at Cape Porto, a Dana Nightstone novel. In this video, I will go through chapter number five. Chapter five, Aldama Mansion. We are here in the Aldama Mansion slash museum. Yeah, it's a museum. Yeah, what's that sound? Nah, probably just my tummy growling. I'm craving for a pizza right now. Who builds a museum in their house with a hungry museum curator? So this guy wants a pizza. We are going to have to distract the museum curator by getting him some pizza. So let's see, we have half of the ruler here. Ooh, and a candle. We need to collect seven candles, okay? There's another candle. I'll just have to keep an eye out for candles. Here's the other half of the ruler inside the wine casket for some reason. Use the ruler here in order to open the drawer. Previously, uh, the drawer was stuck, so you can't open it without the ruler. Looks like we have a lot of postcards. Let's find the matching postcards. Soccer, 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 soccer. Although here in Portugal, I believe they call it football. Actually, I believe in Portugal, people speak Portuguese. I could be wrong, though. So, we found the card for a pizza place. Perfect, because that guy wants pizza. So it's 221354. Hard to read. Six nine eight. Quick pizza service. Thank you for your order. That pizza delivery service was fast, but I had to move even faster. Uh, hmm, pizza? I'm so hungry I must have ordered some pizza without thinking. My stomach can't wait. Break time. All right. We got rid of the irresponsible curator. Hey, Pedro. The truth about Gabriella's murder could be in the museum. Quick, before the curator returns. Now, Pedro uh, Montez is obviously related to Gabriella Montez. She's his grandmother or something. Great aunt, great aunt. Right, right, right. Because she probably didn't have any children, so he's related to Gabriella through his grandfather, who was her brother. So let's see, we are looking for the cat, and the rat, and also the hat. Huh, fancy that. A tortoise, a globe, uh, let's see, the, the mask, the uh, thingy, the key, to, the key to the museum, the important thing. Lantern, scrolls, and a bag. Oh, and a skull. Why does this guy keep a skull above his window? Creepy. A uh, candle. And a candle. Ooh, a parrot. Oh, Polly wants, wants a cracker! A cracker. Oh, 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 sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, Polly. Let me try that again. Oh, Polly wants a cracker! Alright, thank you, Polly. I'm just gonna steal this here. Uh-oh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's give Polly a cracker. So the key goes here. And now for the museum. We have a candle. Ooh, there's Gabriella's ghost. Hey, Gabriella's ghost. Something about this. What's this, Gabriella? Okay, we'll unscrew these things by hand. We don't have a screwdriver anymore. To find scraps of a photo. A photo of this, this, this particular thingy. Strange. It, it, it's strange, and I'll, I'll mention why it's strange in a moment. Here's a puzzle. We need to find these missing uh, corkscrews. Some of them aren't really missing. Some of them are in plain sight. Others are uh, not finished. 
So, for example, this one looks like it attaches to this. So we're going to have to rebuild some of these corkscrews, which is a little bit of work here. Okay, double-decker corkscrew there. So let me see. This goes here. I can move this, so it must connect to something. Where's the metallic one? The metallic one goes on the metallic one. That's nice. It's color-coded. Let's see. Blue thing. Blue thing looks like it goes here. There we go. So this is going to go where? It looks like the red one. Red one. Oh, that one's finished. And this goes on here. So the corkscrew is going to open up the plastic bag. I've never heard of using a corkscrew to open a plastic bag, but whatever. Polly, here are your crackers. Now give me the lighter. Thank you, Polly. Now here we use the corkscrew to untie the knot. Never heard of using corkscrews to untie knots, but whatever. And the security computer. We need to figure out the pattern. Kind of tricky here. What you want is the A for all Dama. And the middle pieces are all going to be these little square thingies. Alright, now let's get the end pieces in place. Look good, look good, look good, look good, look good. Looks good! Alright. If you looked at the computer screen, it just said 101010101010101 over and over and over again. What a weird computer screen. So, glue remover, we are going to rob the statue of Joel Dama. And here's the weird thing. These photo scraps, these photo scraps, it's, it's a photograph of this cabinet. A black and white photograph of a modern day cabinet. You know, this kid, that's Pedro. It's a modern day picture. So put everybody where they're supposed to go. It looks like Pedro and Gabriella are there. They're right next to each other. I wonder if he gave his permission for his figurine to be used, because I'm not sure he did. Old man with those ropes there. Looks like Richard is going to be under the lighthouse. So Richard is there. And uh, Monica, I believe her name is. Whoa, hidden passageway. Craziness. Okay, two candles and Monica. Yes, that is her name, right? So this is Monica, the woman who was following Gabriella around. She was following Gabriella around. And uh, later on, after Gabriella was killed, Monica married Gabriella's husband, Joel. Oh my gosh, the murder weapon, the murder weapon. So it's been hidden here inside the museum this whole time. Okay, true, he split it up into a bunch of pieces and mixed it around with other knives, which is a good way of hiding it, but still, you think he would bury the weapon or something? What's up, Gabriella? The candelabra, okay, I'll put candles there and light them. What's this on the bookcase? Gabriella's diary! That's her, right? Her with her hair up? Even after three years, I still haven't forgotten Silvio's promise. She was engaged to be married to Silvio, but she called it off to marry uh, Mr. Aldama instead. Jewel should be mine! M -m 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 -m. Whoa! Whoa! Creepy! Creepy! I think Monica is, is a culprit. Monica convinced Joel because Monica was was chasing after Gabriella. She was following her around. So did, did Monica purposely have her get killed in order? Yeah. 
I'm sort of getting tongue-tied, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Monica is responsible for Gabriella's death because Monica wanted to marry Gabriella's husband. And besides, Gabriella's husband only married her for her money. Okay, so Gabriella is saying she has to meet Silvio at the lighthouse. Wait a minute. That is where she was killed. Once more, I was warned by some heavy footsteps. Except this time, there was more than one person. Had Richard brought the police? Psst. Over here, Miss Nightstone, by the window. Oh, oh, thank goodness, I'm gonna escape. Yeah, I don't want to be caught by the police. I need to escape and solve this mystery. We're going to solve the mystery by going to the scene of the murder. I had finally gathered enough clues to now head to the scene of the crime. In her journal, Gabriella left clues about her real murderer. Which was convenient. And I promised Gabriella Montez that I wouldn't disappoint her. I don't remember making that promise, but sure, I'm not going to disappoint her. I want to solve this mystery. If Mr. Aldama is the killer, I want to prove it once and for all. And that's what I'll be doing in the final chapter of Death at Cape Porto, a Dana Nightstone novel.